Hi, my name is David Brown. I'm an applications engineer for Hawk Ridge Systems, and today we're going to cover in this video how to create a custom weldment profile. And the basis of my profile that I'm going to create is going to be this piece of sheet metal that I have on my screen here. So it's just a, a standard uh, little section of sheet metal, 10 gauge sheet metal, and I want the size of this to be the basis of my. Uh, custom weldment profile. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin a sketch on the right plane. I'm going to simply control select the end faces. And I'm going to convert entities to capture that onto that sketch. I'm going to window select over that and hit control C to copy those entities to my Windows clipboard. At this point, I no longer need this part, and I want to create a new part. I'm going to use an inch template. And selecting my right plane from my feature manager tree, I simply select Control V on my keyboard to paste that into there. And now I have those that profile in this sketch. And at this point, what I can do is I can actually edit this sketch and use SolidWorks to fully define that for me. And one thing I want you to remember with creating weldment profiles is that SolidWorks uses the endpoints and the vertexes to create uh, to, for use as pierce points when you're using the weldment profile in a weldment situation. And it's in some cases, like this corner here, I might want a point, a pierce point, so that I can locate that profile based on the virtual sharp of this corner. And I need to insert that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select a sketch point, and I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. And then I'm going to add some relationships to make sure that that's fixed in the position that I need it to be. And I'm going to add a center line here, and I'm going to go ahead and mirror that to the other side so I have one on each end and now I can close the sketch. Okay, So now it has the pierce points that are added that I need in my weldment profile. At this point I'm ready to convert this to a library feature part that I can use as a weldment profile. And the steps that you need to take are very important. You need to select the sketch in the feature manager tree first and then you go to file save as and then save as file type library feature part and now I need to navigate to the folder that contains my weldment profiles and from here I'm gonna go ahead and name this it's a C channel type shape so I'm just C7 select form channel and now you can see that what I have is on my sketch in my feature manager tree is an L that indicates that that sketch is indeed a library feature part and then at the top of the feature manager tree there is a an icon that indicates that this part is used as a feature manager or a library feature part. In today's video we covered creating a custom weldment profile. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to Hawk Ridge Systems YouTube channel and thanks for watching.